Hi, Hazel Park families. Welcome to the 2022-23 school year. Uh, it is a great day here in Hazel Park as we have our junior high and high school students picking up schedules to start celebrating our brand new school year that starts next week. Last year in our school, we saw a lot of changes coming in from the pandemic. And I am confident that that pandemic is behind us. However, we've added a lot of learning opportunities for our students that we'll talk about later in this message. And we also found out some things that all of us need to think about. I think the number one thing that I want us to talk about is kindness. We know that teaching is not an easy job and there aren't enough teachers across the country to fill classrooms. Here in Hazel Park, because of the small, kind family community that we have, our teachers are coming back and we actually have all of our classrooms filled at this point in time. But that really depends on you. So I'm gonna ask that when your child enters the classroom or when you see something that's great, send them a little email and tell them how great our Hazel Park teachers are. This is really important as we are dealing with uh, individuals that sometimes are unkind in, in environments and make places feel unsafe. We are telling you that we are strictly enforcing this year a policy of if a parent or a community member or anyone comes in and they are speaking unkindly to our staff, we're gonna ask them to step out and come back again when they are feeling a little more positive. If people continue to do that, uh, they harass, swear, or threaten our staff, then we will um, ask that they not come back on the property again. This is important. This is an important safety piece as we look at all the things that have happened into our community. I also wanna guarantee you that we are continuing to review our safety procedures and protocols. I have been lucky enough to sit on a co commission for the Michigan State Police, and on that commission, they share that there'll be some statewide policies and procedures that are going to place in October. After that time, we'll share with you the kind of changes that we can uh, regarding the safety of our school. Your child's safety is at the forefront. Please reach out to us with any concerns you have. Look at OK to Say on our Facebook page and or look at the bullying report that comes directly to me. We want you to be a part of making the school safe. We know that research tells us that when parents are involved in their child's schooling, that children are more successful. They're more likely to graduate, they're more likely to come to school. And there's nothing more important than attendance and learning in school. This year, all of our schools have open houses. Please refer to your principal letter and or the website to see when those open houses are. Come, see what your children are learning. See the great programs and services that Hazel Park has put into place. Ask questions about what to expect from your teachers and be a part of that learning practice for your child. We have a great event this week happening on Thursday. It is our annual uh, hometown huddle. It is the first home football game of the season and we're encouraging you to join us at the high school from 5 to 6.30. The hometown huddle celebrates organizations that are part of the Hazel Park community that will come and celebrate, let you know about them, give you materials about their organizations. From 5 to 6.30 there's free food, uh, there are jumpy houses for the young kids, the band's going to be there, the dancers are going to dance, and we're going to celebrate that game. Come to the hometown huddle and you go to the football game for free. You need to get a pink ticket, so remember to do so. And we're really excited again. Can't say that enough to see all of you uh, at the hometown huddle. If you haven't had a chance to enroll your student yet or re-register them, uh, you can do that at the hometown huddle between the hours of four and eight up at the high school this week. If you uh, aren't able to make any of those, number one, just come in person up to the office Monday through Friday from eight to three, and there'll be somebody up there to help you. If you've been having difficulties getting through, uh, please send me an email directly, and I will work with you to try to get the help that you need to make sure your student is enrolled on time and gets the classes they need to do to be successful. Last summer, we were really fortunate to have our new athletic director, Tom Ostrike, develop sports camps with our varsity players, as well as our coaches. These were great opportunities for over 140 kids to participate on the high school grounds and learn some of the basics about what they need to do when they come to Hazel Park High School and they become that Viking. We encourage you to keep watching as I know some coaches will do it again. We've seen the benefit of that on our grounds this year as our coaches are out there and they are having more students than we had before. In some cases, almost double the amount. Hazel Park Schools has a three-year-old, a four-year-old, and a GSRP program, as well as an early childhood special education program. This services our students from the age of three to five. If you are looking for preschool, GSRP has a sliding scale, and three and four-year-olds is a weekly 
charge for your child. However, if you are a DHS parent uh, and need extra support, just come on up to Webster Elementary School, ask for Sheila O'Kane, and we will get your child enrolled. The three and four year olds is a five day program. Our GSRP is a four, but I can guarantee you there are a lot of exciting activities that are gonna be occurring at GSRP this year, and you're gonna to wanna to get your child involved as early as possible to give them the greatest benefit. In Hazel Park Schools, we value the academics that your children are able to achieve, and we know that we need to do better. This year, we have adopted a new reading program that some of you may have found when you were young. This program will focus on the aspects of the science of reading. All the way through K through 8, we will be re-looking at how we're teaching reading, and we will have coaches from across the country coming in to coach our teachers and to support your children. You'll see phonics brought back in, spelling back in, and a very special competition from Dr. Kirby centered around vocabulary. Look out for that in the coming months. We hope that you will take time to learn about this uh, from your children and from our teachers to make our children focused on literacy for all. You asked for it and Hazel Park High School is bringing it to you. All of you have been asking about how do we teach financial literacy to our students? The state of Michigan this year passed a law that all incoming eighth graders would take financial literacy by the time they graduate. But we were out ahead of that, and this year our students at the high school will have the opportunity to take half a year or a full year of financial literacy. What's financial literacy? Financial literacy is the opportunity for students to learn how to do checkbooks, how to do taxes, how to uh, add, subtract when we're thinking about how much money do I have to, sur to survive. We're really excited to have that opportunity for our students to take financial literacy at our high school and hope that this continues to add the requests that you have sent to us. I am so proud to have been your superintendent for the last eight years. Uh, it's an opportunity that everybody strives for to have a long-term relationship with Hazel Park. And I'm looking at having a longer-term relationship with Hazel Park as your superintendent servicing your children. Please know that this year our theme is literacy for all. We hope that you will join us in activities of focusing on making sure that we're reading for fun, that we're reading for school, and sometimes we're just reading to read. We need our kids to be able to read and keep up with all those around us. I hope that your child has a fantastic school year and that you are out and actively involved, that you're reaching out to your teachers, your principal, and your superintendent when you have questions and concerns. We're here to serve you. We're Hazel Park Vikings. Okay.